Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Sharon Rice, and I'm here with our March edition of Philly Changer Chats for Generosity. And I'm here with former Lieutenant Governor of Pennsylvania and current President and CEO, Jim Cawley. Hi, Jim. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Sharon. Great. So you are the newest CEO and President of United Way. United um, Way of Greater Philadelphia in Southern New Jersey. Great. Yes. We mm -hmm. make, definitely need to get that clear because there's a ton of your organizations all over the country. Correct? Right. And there are quite a few. And of course, a lot of folks in uh, our community are familiar with uh, the earlier rendition of United Way, United Way of Southeastern Pennsylvania. About three years ago, uh, we were joined by another county organization, Delaware County here in Pennsylvania, and by five different county organizations uh, across the river in New Jersey to make the newly constituted United Way of Greater Philadelphia in Southern New Jersey. That's great. That's great. That's a really great collaboration, and I think especially in Philadelphia, there's a, a ton of space for that type of work that's going on. So I'm happy to have you here and uh, be part of the organization. Couldn't be more pleased to be here. Yeah. So as the newest CEO and president, um, what are some of the things you're hoping for um, during your tenure to see for the organization? Well, one of the things in particular is a recognition that pretty much we're all in it together, that uh, the footprint uh, of the United Way now, our United Way, reaches from as far west as Chester County all the way down uh, to Cape May, New Jersey. That's a pretty large geographic footprint. Uh, and while there are unique aspects to all of those communities that help to make up uh, our United Way, that we are all in it together. That the name United Way means that we recognize the fact that it is only through uniting together and finding common ground that we can work together to attack uh, and successfully overcome uh, a lot of the social ills that are facing our community, be it literacy, be it hunger or healthy choices, uh, be it uh, unlocking income potential or addressing just about any other human need that you can think of, uh, we can get a great deal more done together, much more so than we could ever hope to achieve uh, as uh, just individuals. That's really great. And talking a little bit about uh, charity, I know in the city here, and Generosity has done a few pieces on this, and this more collaborative work that philanthropy, the philanthropy sector is doing. Um, in terms of what United Way wants to see over the course of the next year and so, and so on, what are some other collaborations that you'd like to make um, while you're in your current position? Well, I will tell you that the foundation, actually, of United Way and how it came into being was a recognition that collaboration is what will help us all be more successful. It started back in Denver, Colorado, when 10 faith leaders who were all running their own individual picket, homeless shelter or soup kitchen uh, or educational facility, recognized that if they pooled their money together and if they pooled their resources together, they could stretch their dollars much further. So United Way has always been committed to collaboration, and I see opportunities all around the region uh, and certainly all throughout the city as uh, we are blessed to have so many different nonprofit organizations that are all committed, yes, perhaps to one specific issue, but in a greater sense, uh, to making our piece of the world an even better place to live and to work and to raise our families and to grow old in. And if we can tap into that energy and bring that together, and again, recognize that fact that we are all in it together and we are much stronger together than we could ever hope to be separately, I think that uh, that's going to be something that we can all count as a great success. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, collaboration is definitely one of the hallmarks of Philadelphia. And, you know, the, the millennial movement, the social impact movement is just based on that. So it seems as though United Way is just going to continue doing what they've been doing for so well for so many years. Exactly right. That's really that's fantastic. Um, so with the current programs that you have coming out this year, um, is there anything that you're particularly really excited about? Anything that you're really jazzed to just get really engaged in? Well, I'll tell you, one of the things that motivates me personally is uh, United Way's commitment uh, to early childhood education. Uh, because for me, uh, early childhood learning isn't a statistic or something that you read uh, in some report somewhere. And by the way, report after report after report says that if we can get to children specifically between the ages of three and five, if not even earlier, uh, and instill them with a passion 
uh, for learning, that that's going to serve them well throughout the rest of their life. Uh, it's more than just a statistic for me. I've seen it firsthand. My son, Nicholas, uh, came to us as uh, initially our foster son when he was two and a half years old. Uh, and Nick had challenges. Uh, and I saw him develop when he had those educational opportunities. Uh, so that today he is a seemingly very successful, uh, at least the most recent tests are showing that, <laughs> a second grader um, up in uh, elementary school in Newtown uh, in Bucks County. I've seen how it, by him being able to access those, uh, those programs, he didn't just go from three to five in those two years. He went from three to 35. We really unlocked the potential uh, uh, of this individual. Uh, and he was lucky. Well, what we want to do at United Way is make even more kids lucky. In fact, ultimately, we want to make every kid lucky by providing that opportunity. Uh, that, uh, that commitment to literacy and, and early childhood learning and, and making sure that kids are reading to grade level uh, by uh, third grade and that we are able to help kids who might be uh, on the bubble uh, as far as at-risk populations in middle school. And we've got programs for all of those things uh, where we partner with some absolutely phenomenal service providers in this region. Uh, that coupled with our commitment to uh, making sure that the people of this community have healthy lifestyle alternatives, healthy lifestyle choices, that later in life that they have the, uh, the tools that they need to unlock their income potential to be able to, to first secure and then maintain a family sustaining job. All of those things, as well as addressing basic human needs, are just some of the ways in which United Way is now yeah. and will, for the foreseeable future, hopefully be an important part of uh, making our community better. Great. I love it. So collaboration, resourcing, and living united. That's exactly right. I love it. Well, thank you so much, Jim. Thank you, Sharon.